Welcome to the ladies room. I'm Kelsey Dara and today we have a really fucking cool guest. I'm so excited to have her here. She's the host of the Throwing Shade podcast, soon to be TV show, Erin Gibson. Oh, hi, I was just uh, lacquering my lips. You're also the creator of Game of Thrones. That's right. Tell us about that. So Game of Thrones is where my hairdresser recaps Game of Thrones. Um, recapping it and kind of regurgitating it and basically mm -hmm. RuPaul's Drag Racing. Um, that's the best way to describe it. Can I get you a drink? Do you want Yeah, I would love, um, you know what I would love? Please tell me. A lukewarm this. Yes. Yeah. I can't. Oh, every dentist is just shitting their pants right now. <laughs> So can you explain to me, like I'm an old person, what okay. shade is for anyone that doesn't know what shade is? Okay, so when you're throwing shade at somebody, it's like you're giving them the you're giving them the side eye without mm -hmm. actually like telling they've done they fucked up, Ooh. but you're not gonna tell them they fucked up. It's usually reserved for people who deserve it. Mm. So we throw shade at politicians, mm. usually conservative, that are that do anti-gay, anti-lady yeah. stuff. We throw shade on those people, and that's deserved. But I never throw shade on you. No, God, I hope yeah. not. I idolize you in the non creepiest way. Yeah. Hey, Kate, save me from this. Uh, do you know Eric? Yeah, I mean, you're doing it all right. Thank you all so much. What do you think is the worst state? Uh, Mississippi or Florida, it's a tie. I feel like the PC thing for me to say right now is North Carolina because they just passed that the, yeah. the bathroom discrimination law. Hey, you know who uh, the bathrooms aren't safe from? Republicans. Ooh, zing, Thank I will you. cheers to that. Okay, how about this? Fuck, Mary kill. Yeah. Trump. Ramsey Bolton or the entire state of Florida, which I'm- Okay, fuck Ramsey like. Bolton, because sorry to say, the yeah. worst guys are the best in bed. <laughs> that is true. Kill Donald Trump, marry, wait, who was the third one? Uh, the entire matter. state of Florida? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Great. Uh, what's one television show that you could watch for the rest of your life? It's the only show you can watch. RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, Kate? Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's so good, and they have been calling out how hard it is for these drag queens in mm -hmm. their lives and like where they've come yeah. from. I, just, I like that they're shining a light on that. If you have to uninvent a piece of clothing, what would it be? And ignore my list. Body, body suits. Oh, that snap in the crotch. Harry Tubman's gonna be on the 20. Tubman's, she's gonna yes. be on the Tubman's, yeah. Who would you put on the hundo if you could? I would put Sacagawea because I think she really got the shaft by being on the silver dollar. It was like, carry this big piece, heavy coin around. <laughs> Women. Uh, if you owned a strip club, what would you call it? Holes, and it would only be, <laughs> be a male strip club. And all of them would be covered except for their holes. Let's let's distill it to its finest point, which is holes. <laughs> Everyone's just interested in each other's holes. I support that. Helping or hurting Neil deGrasse Tyson? I think he's helping. I think he's making uh, astrology. No, no, no. I didn't hear it. I didn't Cleo's hear it. helping astrology. I think he's making science cool. He's great. So helping. And I do love when he like tears apart gravity and like. Uh, excuse me, can't happen, Matthew McConaughey. You can't go into a library of time. Do you believe in aliens? Yes. But honestly, isn't it a little arrogant not to because yeah. you don't know what happened in some lake somewhere in, Ooh. you know, the nebula gallery, gal galaxy or something? <laughs> I just want to be clear, you're not drinking alcohol right now. Sorry, no, I'm not drinking alcohol and I have never studied science. What's your most unpopular opinion? My dad's a Vietnam vet and so I do believe you should support troops even if you don't agree with why they're fighting. That, I think that's a pretty... Is that pretty standard? Don't punish them for the nonsense that the government... Is, the government uh, <laughs> what are you most excited about for having your own TV show? For a long time, women and gay issues have been presented on these infotainment or mm. pol political comedy shows by men, mm -hmm. but we're going to be focusing on such a narrow yeah. part of politics that affect a, like more than 50% of the mm -hmm. population, so I'm excited. If you could give your 16-year-old self advice, what would it be? I went to a lot of shitty colleges, and then I had a theater teacher who was like, I really think you have um, something. Well, I'm not gonna say talent. I think I, you're gonna I, say HPV or something. Yeah, I think you have HPV. Look, I'm not a doctor, I'm a theater <laughs> teacher, but you, I know HPV when I see it. What's the worst advice you've ever been given? Um, to give up. My boyfriend in college said you shouldn't try to do comedy. It's not <gasps> worth your time. And he also said I wasn't good at it. <laughs> Suck it, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Paul, though. Uh, that's it? Thank you so you much. You did it? The, the way we end this is we take a selfie with this Polaroid. Oh, great. I take it over here, and then we hang it on our wall. Great. All right, ready? One, two, three. Cheese. Hope I didn't say anything too sad.
The world is sad. <laughs> now we're done. <laughs>